Hey curl friends and welcome back. So today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a curly wig for beginners. There's no need for a closure and no need for any experience. We're going to be doing the glue method. This video has been brought to you guys by Elevate Styles and I'm using the Zuri Naturally Star collection today. So I grabbed the Zuri Naturally Star collection in three packs. I got a 14, 16 and an 18. I got my 14 inch in a coily texture and my 16 and 18 are the curly or 3c textures this is 100 human hair so i grabbed you guys three extra packs so you guys can stay tuned towards the end for the actual giveaway to see how you guys can win three of the same exact packs of hair this collection was designed to mimic a natural hair so i grabbed three packs of those some hair glue a dome style cap and of course my infamous foam wig head so i'm starting off by putting a little beanie hat as well as a trash bag a little grocery bag over the head I'm gonna tie that down and add on the dome style cap on top of that trash bag you want to make sure that the glue is not going to stick to the foam head taking my longest weft which is my 18 inch 3c curly I went ahead and added some glue along the wefting or the track line of this hair and I'm just going to stick it onto the cap it's really really simple and easy guys it's literally just gluing the hair onto the cap I grabbed the salon pro 30 second hair glue it has a really really strong hold I know you guys have used hair glue before but if you guys are looking for something with a really really strong hold definitely check out the salon pro 30 second I still went ahead and used the blow dryer just to speed up the drying process I did not want to sit there for 30 whole seconds and wait for this glue to dry so I just used the little blow dryer and applied heat to the track for about 10 to 15 seconds at most now you're pretty much just going to glue the tracks in a circular pattern just go around the head over and over and over again until you get up to the top which is where we'll be making our closure piece now when I get to the very very last few little turns I have a small little circle left I just went ahead and cut off these little two to three inch pieces I want to create a triangle at the top of this wig this is going to give me a nice little spot to stick that DIY closure in whenever I create it for the actual DIY closure you're just going to grab about three to four inches of track hair apply some glue to it and roll it up against each other just to create this nice little donut roll and let that dry. I'm using a blow dryer to make sure that everything is nicely coated, everything is nice and secure and it will hold. Once that you're sure that the entire closure is nice and secure, everything's dry, just grab a flat iron and press it down right in the middle where the hair separates. This is what's going to give it a nice flat little ending piece that you can stick on the top of the wig where we left a little space. And I just went back in with the leftover tracks and added in some more hair throughout the wig. Wherever I saw little sparse areas, I had a ton of hair left over. And I just grabbed some hair glue, put it right there in the middle where the closure belongs, slap that closure on there and blow dry it dry. And this is the final result. I literally just took the trash bag off of the wig. I didn't have anything left back on the wig or anything to peel off because that trash bag is really, really thick and can easily be peeled off. And I'm just going to go ahead and begin styling. I'm just adding some eco styler gel to my edges in case I want to pull the hair back or flip it to the side, have a little side parting. But for the most part, I think I'm going to create a bang wig with this wig. This is what the hair looks like when you finish the entire wig. I have the 18 at the bottom, 16 in the middle, and 14 on the top. I can go ahead and add some volume to this hair just by using a really, really wide big comb just to lift the roots I went back in and cut some bangs right above my eyes and I'm just making sure that I cut the hair in a zigzag pattern that way I don't get a really really harsh or blunt line I want it to be nice and straggly really natural looking I'm just going back in and fluffing up the hair with this detangling comb I want it nice and big and bouncy so I hope you guys enjoyed this really, really beginner friendly tutorial. I hope that I inspired you guys to get into this wig making business. It's really, really easy to achieve, especially with this glue method. So as far as the giveaway, go ahead and leave your regular comment. Don't forget to hashtag naturally start to let me know that you guys are interested in the giveaway. It will run for two weeks. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.